welcome back to my channel. So recently I have posted a video about, well it's a reaction video about a certain website that I saw from my friend's feed because that person was somewhat involved in that mess. And so I checked out the website and there I saw it. I didn't like what I saw, basically. I think this website was over the top, it was too personal, it was too detailed, and if you're someone who's had your heart broken and want to vent out, you don't have to make a website about that person. I mean, there are a lot of people who had their hearts broken and they didn't make a website about it. There are a lot of people who's even faced something worse than this, but they didn't put up a website about it, you know? Otherwise, there will be a lot of websites and <laughs> it would be such a, you know, a crazy world if everyone did that anyway. So, this is my point of view. I respect your opinion, so you should respect mine. So I'm just pointing out, you know, the things that I think happened. Okay, so just there's three sides of the story. The person A story, the person B story, and the truth. I'm not saying that one of them is correct and one of them is at fault. What I'm saying is probably both of them are wrong, but they've dealt the situation in a bad way. Instead of handling it like a human being, like an adult human being, it just went crazy. So no one had to put up a website. That guy should have approached or talked to the girl and settled it. It didn't have to reach this point. And I think this is such a big mess. So causing someone to commit suicide and I don't care if that person had issues in the past about depression and whatnot, but you already know that. You already know that the person had an issue before and then you're doing this. You put up a website and you know how the person is gonna react if you really know that person. You know that the person is gonna try to take her life. So why would you still do it? You want awareness? What kind of awareness do you want? I mean, people are already aware that these things happen. So you don't have to detail and put everything up. It's not your responsibility to make people aware that this person or that person is doing this and that, if it's true. Even if it's true, <laughs> it's, it's none of your responsibility. You just need to fix yourself and move on, you know? Or just, if you think that you wasted a lot of money, then why don't you both settle it and maybe ask to get paid back or whatever, however you want to deal with it. But you need to do it in private, not in public. All right, so that's it. That's, that's what I'm trying to say, dude. And I know that he is not an English major or whatever. Okay, I was just making fun of it. But anyway, that's my point. And I hope this horrible website gets taken down because nobody deserves to experience such an awful mess. And I've heard that the guy won't take it down unless he's given 500,000 pesos. Okay, if he receives that amount, then he's, he's gonna take it down. Oh, that's awful. So that's about it for today's video. I will see you on my next one. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell.